Hello and welcome to the Your Business Car Guy Practical Corel Draw Tips. Today we're going to be talking about removing a background using the Cutout Lab. Here is a pretty typical project. This is a business card that's being designed. It's actually one we're doing for myself. It's a combination of uh, the two logos, the Envision Design Solutions logo, uh, which does the websites and the branding part of business, and then the uh, Your Business Card Guy, which uh, obviously specializes in business cards and other printed materials. Uh, on the back we have the contact info and we want to put a photograph and just like the other video we want to remove this background so that we have a nice transparent superimposed look that we can you know have it uh, you know still showing through we've got the text here we want to be able to see better and this gray bar we want to see it kind of go behind the head there um, the video on removing a background I did previously had a more of a solid a slight gradient on the gray and so we we're able to use the tool that kind of selected based on color region and was able to quickly remove the background using that tool. Uh, this is much more difficult because it's multicolored, uh, sort of marbled looking, highlighted areas, darker areas and a lot of the uh, colors match what's in the shirt here and on the face so if I use a color selector it's going to try to uh, grab too much. So what we're going to show you is another way to remove the background. First thing we want to do is hit the Edit Bitmap and open PhotoPaint. With PhotoPaint open, we now want to select Image and the Cutout Lab. This opens up another window and we have our, our photo in here. And what we have are the controls that we use to mask off an area so that we have an area we're keeping and an area that we're going to remove. What you can do is uh, set these colors. The highlight area is what you're going to draw, and then the fill will use the end to complete the mask. Uh, and use those based on you know, a, a color that you'll be able to see over what you're working on. It's very handy to be able to change those. And then the nib size should be big enough so that you can get some of it over the area that you want to keep and some of it over the area that you want to remove. So I'm going to do shift and drag, click and drag my mouse to make that a little bigger. You could go up and type in whatever you wanted here, say I do 30, uh, and it works the same way. So now I zoom in just enough. I'm now going to complete a circumference or an outline, a perimeter of uh, the image that I want to keep. I'm going to essentially be masking this off, and the uh, software is going to do some uh, uh, work to um, keep track, because it, being that it is a mask, the entire image is still there. I'm not um, using some kind of an eraser tool, uh, something where I'm actually removing pixels from it, it's going to be there. So it's going to have to figure out what to keep and what to remove based on that sampling. So going along the edge here, zoom out and in again. I'm working a little bit more quickly than I would on an actual customer project. Obviously for this video we're just trying to get this done. So I'm not being maybe as careful as I could be, but that's okay. This tool works so well that you don't have to be super careful. You'll you get amazing effects from it. So now that I've completed an entire perimeter, I can now click on the fill tool, click in the area, and it masks it off completely. To see the effect that that's going to have, I hit the preview button, and you'll see that the background is gone. But you'll also notice that some of what I want to keep is also gone, right? Obviously I don't want my shirt gone and my ear and my hair. Um, so I could either undo it and play with some settings, you know, change the nib size and really you know, be more careful with how I'm drawing things uh, and play with those. Or you can recognize the fact that Corel has a great little piece called Add Detail Tool. Click on that. I now go over the area that has stuff sort of gone. It's Again, remember it is a mask so it's not really gone. As I paint over it, you'll notice that it just reappears. It's the uh, closest thing to magic you're going to get in the uh, computer world, I think. Paint this in. And again, I'm going a little bit more quickly than I would, so you know if I make some mistakes, bear with me. I am going to make a couple of mistakes on purpose so I can show you the uh, uh, sort of flip side of this tool. This is we're adding in detail. There's also a remove detail tool, which if the name isn't obvious enough, um, helps you sort of remask and sort of get rid of detail. So as I go along, I can you know fiddle. Uh, one thing I always you know when I talk to folks about is always remember the application. And in this case, this photo is being used on a business card, 
and you know those of you who have worked in that environment realize how small uh, stuff can be so sometimes you know you spend a bunch of time because you really want it to look right and you've got a computer monitor that's huge and so you zoom around and you spend an hour you know screwing with it uh, and you know it's only going to be actually shown about an inch in size on a business card and maybe a couple inches if it's a large one and that's really not a lot of room and so you end up um, sometimes um, spending more time than you need to now that doesn't say that you shouldn't try uh, and I'm gonna make a mistake here I'll show you that um, you know you want to do it right but at the same time you don't want to be charging customers more than you need to and so always remember uh, what it is you're working on that uh, you, you kinda put the, the right level of effort into um, because you don't want to have um, perfection get in the way of the very good uh, as they say and so here's I'll make some a mistake over here as well so here I've uh, gone in and used the add detail tool to essentially repaint myself um, ears are fixed the shirt is fixed everything that's there in the original photograph is back uh, except again I, the background is still uh, hidden now the area where I was a little over exuberant is the background and now I can choose the remove detail tool and then I can go back over the area to get rid of it now obviously I can hold the shift key down drag down to make my nib a little smaller it gets me get into these areas here which is very handy trace the outline of the ear and again it's a matter of just being patient going back and forth um, zooming in as needed to uh, clean up uh, you know almost pixel by pixel but it's not quite that arduous if you uh, have used an eraser tool sometimes that's what you do is you get it onto the you put the nib to be one and then literally you're clicking on a square at a time to get rid of it um, this is working pretty well and being that it's a, a mask I can you know find stuff that needs to be added back in quickly here I've switched back to the add detail back to remove and uh, I can continue working it's very very quickly um, clean things up and again these were mistakes that I made on purpose to show this uh, if you're careful when you're uh, painting your detail back in you don't have to obviously go back and forth fixing uh, mistakes uh, that you didn't make all right almost done here I think that's probably good enough for this and so there we go I've got a uh, smiling face nice bright shirt no background so I'm gonna say okay to that which plops me back into photo paint and I can use photo paint to then um, make any adjustments that I need to once I'm happy with it, I hit save, which brings me back into, and it, it saves it back to the Corel. I can close Photo Paint, you can see here. Now I have a uh, photograph in my business card, on my business card, and no background. I can see the bar that I want, and my information is all very visible because the white is now showing through. Hit F4, we can see it uh, a little better. Uh, and that's just a very simple way to remove a background that you couldn't use a color selector tool to do. Thanks again for taking the time to watch our uh, Corel Draw tips. Uh, if you need any high quality business cards or design work, check us out online www.yourbusinesscardguide.com. We'll talk to you next time.